One dank east behind him, one dank in front of him, and one dank on the side, and a... Mouse. One special creature. Specimen. That every once in a while finds its way to my channel over and over again. The heaviest dank. The dankest dank in world of danks. 188. 0 0.980 tons, uh, sorry, kilograms, yes, kilograms, of pure metal. 188,000 dank memes on the battlefield. This is mouse. Tier 10 German heavy tank. What about that intro, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. Today, as I said, I am going to show you one battle with Tier 10 German Heavy Tank Mouse. And I understand that some of you may have seen this replay before on those replay sites or replay channels, but I am pretty sure there are 90% of you guys who have never seen this replay before or this battle before. So please calm down, you over there as well, yes you, please calm down. Okay, awesome. I have actually been waiting for something like this. I have actually been looking for one mouse battle for a few months actually, because it has been a very long time since you previously saw mouse one mouse battle on my channel. And uh, this battle, uh, by looking at the matchmaking, well, it might not be anything interesting, but believe me guys, it is all about the ending. Or I can say, just sit back relax and enjoy. My job over here today, as with any other episode, is to simply entertain you, so please let me do that, you sit back and enjoy. Uh, this battle was played by 305 Sergei, so thank you for sharing this battle with us. Now let's focus on the gameplay. As I said, I have been looking for one mouse battle, one really awesome mouse battle for a very long time already. Uh, I saw many, many really high amount of damage done battles, like 11,000 damage done, maybe even 12,000 damage done, but all those battles were with full APCR loadout, and uh, nothing extremely interesting happened over there. But this one, this shows what the mouse tank is made to do, and if matchmaking is perfect, Perfect. If enemy team is perfect, if ally team is perfect, if all the stars in the galaxy in the universe are aligned, this happens. So Sergei is fighting versus another tier 10 enemy vehicle versus object 432. It seems like that 432 didn't carry too many heat rounds because I think he only fired two heat rounds, or maybe three. Uh, anyway, he switched to the AP rounds and he was not able to penetrate any shots whatsoever. Perfect angling by Sergei as well, I have to admit it. He was always angling his turret away from that object uh, for 30. And so far, I think he has, he has received around 15 shots and uh, no damage received. A couple uh, no uh, damage uh, like counter shots into the tracks. Uh, 3000 damage blocked so far. And an team finally decided to push in. Uh, now, allied team has only two kills and both kills are on Sergei, uh, so two kills and the team is still losing this battle 2 to 8. We lost every single tank in the city. This battle is tombed, or this battle was tombed from the get-go. Uh, although one of those uh, destroyed tanks is uh, enemy tier 10 object 432, one of the most dangerous tanks in this matchmaking. But uh, luckily, this matchmaker, this free fight F7 matchmaker is working as intended. It uh, matched up <laughs> as intended. It uh, matched up. <laughs> Sorry. I had to do some clapping action for that WC 132. He tried. He tried. But uh, what I wanted to say over here was, uh, luckily, this matchmaking is working as intended, and uh, it matched up a mouse versus AMX 50B. They are completely different. You cannot be more different. One is super heavy tank, and one is sniping support, no armored heavy tank and matchmaker somehow matched them together. Same goes to the Type 4 Heavy versus AMX 5120. What is up with the matchmaking, 357 matchmaking on paper? It seems to be pretty and beautiful and shiny and all that, but in actual reality, on the battlefield, in action, it is uh, just, it gets worse and worse and worse. 
498 damage into that enemy budget 12T, who was able to survive with uh, 12 HP, I think, something like that, but down it goes. On the move, Emil 1, sadly, was able to bounce with its turret. Uh, unlucky, Sergei, you were simply unlucky. Good focus by our Type 4, Emil 1 was uh, tracking him, but Type 4 focused uh, down enemy AMX 50B, who was at super low HP. And finally, Allied team is also picking up some kills, Type 4 has 2 kills, and score is 7 to 11, but enemy team is capping, 20 seconds left on the cap, and we just lost Type 4, so now it is 2 versus 8, ladies and gentlemen. AMX 13 105, the only tier 10 vehicle left on the enemy side, is Sergei able to snap that shot off, and uh, thanks to poor driving by that enemy AMX 13 105, he was able to do that. And this is where the show begins, ladies and gentlemen. 11 seconds left on the cap. Two guys are in the capture zone. You have to reset that object 263 because this guy carries the most points. And boom, done. That shot goes into the lower plate. Emil 1 decided to flank Mouse, but Mouse has enough ancient power to simply move that little Emil around the battlefield. 567 damage into the AMX 13. No, sorry, into the AMX 5120. And now it is off. Officially 1 versus 7. One tank is behind him, one tank in front of him, and one tank on the side, and AMX 5120 is also peaking, but luckily that 5120 is using stock gun, is using AMX 5100's gun with 300 damage, as we can see. You have to lower the numbers, and now you derped that shot into the upper plate. Uh, that amount of bouncing, Emil 1 is not able to penetrate him from the behind. This is just crazy. Finally, one tank goes down, it is 1 versus 6 now. Emil 1 is the only smart guy who tried to flank Mouse. All the rest of the guys are trying to do something in front of him, and boom, yet another tank goes down. So only 1 versus 5, 5 more enemy vehicles left to kill. Emil 1 is still trying to penetrate Mouse from the behind, and can you believe it? Second artillery was smart enough to move behind Mouse, or at least he's trying to do that at the moment. Emil 1 was finally able to penetrate yet another shot, only 217 HP left, and four more enemy targets left to kill. That shot goes into the roof, because 257's roof armor is super weak. Emil 1 luckily is reloading, so now you have to destroy that object 257. Meanwhile, artillery is trying to flank you as well. Artillery is moving in, aiming, aiming, and was able to hit you, but only 86 damage done, because it was tier 8 artillery. Object 257 saw that you took the shot, was trying to put that into the lower plate, but no luck, only tracked you. Who are you going for? Are you going for that Emil 1 or are you going for Object 257? Okay, seems like you have to focus down that Emil 1 as well. This guy needs to receive a couple shots. Boom, you have actually a really awesome angle. And Emil 1 ran out of ammunition because Emil 1 is using HG rounds. HG rounds with an auto loading tank. This can be the only explanation that he ran out of AP or APCR rounds. But guys, look at the gap. Someone was capping to base. It can only be that artillery. Who is going to splash himself? An easy one shot for Mouse. Easy one shot for Sergei. So from 1 versus 7, after picking up 10 kills in total, only one more enemy tank left to kill. Just look at the amount of dead vehicles around Sergei. Where is that object 257? Come out if you are man enough. 10 kills, epic music on the background, over 8000 damage done, close to 12000 damage bounced. I skipped all those crazy amount of damage battles, because I wanted to show you what mouse tank is made to do. It is made to do something stupid and silly like this. Love it. Let's see where that object 257 went. So, nothing over here. Ooh, hello spotted. Are you going to take that snapshot into the roof? And... Done. 11 kills in total. Close to 9000 damage done. Let's take a look what Sergei was able to get for this battle. And let me tell you. Sergei's shoulder is going to be heavy after all those medals and rewards. Just look at the medal lineup.
A Stanker, of course, 35 bonds, and by the way, he was playing this battle without a premium account, so he didn't make that much credit spot. He didn't use any premium rounds, which is kinda impressive. Uh, Pascuichi's metal for destroying at least two artilleries. Pool's metal, Kolobanov's metal. Uh, Spartan, high caliber, uh, sorry, cool headed, high caliber, top gun, defender, and steel wall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 epic medals in total. Close to 9,000 damage done in total, 11 kills, 1,556 raw experience. Second guy was actually artillery who did, uh, what is it, uh, 4 and a half times uh, less damage than mouse. So yeah, good go. One-sided carry, I can say. On the enemy side, Object 263 had a good run, uh, close to 4.1k damage done, and that is it. 29 shots fired, 28 hits, 22 penetrations, 54 hits received in total, and 47 non-penetrations. Yeah, close to 12,000 damage bounced. What a battle, seriously, just what an exciting battle. Sergey, thank you once again for sharing this battle with us. And as it is one beautiful Friday, I wish you merry, merry weekend. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, thumbs up button is for that. Subscribe for more action, join with notification squad. Stay awesome, take care, and bye. I'm